Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ and my praying friends. Um, today's date is Monday, April the 11th, 2022. Um, I have an update, okay? It's, it's kind of lengthy, so I'm just going to try to combine it because we got two updates today, okay? Um, it's uh, about... 8.13 Central Standard Time here um, in Honolulu. It would be five hours behind us, so it's just, you know, 3.13 or so in the afternoon. Okay. Last night, um, they gave Michaela his last dose of the uh, coma inducing meds okay um it's just so much y'all okay he um during the night at some point um bit down on his vener uh ventilation tube okay and got his tongue stuck inside of the tube okay and he was moving his left arm trying to take the tube out now he was still in a coma okay um his temperature, he, they've got him like in a some sort of a boot uh, that's got the uh, uh, the tubes running, uh, you know, very cold water. Uh, they've got him like laying in this boot, okay, uh, on his back so that, you know, to keep the swelling and stuff down, you know. Um, well... When they, they had to restrain his left arm, okay, and then they had to put a bite guard inside of the ventilator tube to keep him from cutting off the, <laughs> the oxygen, okay, and uh, to keep him from biting on the tube and getting his tongue stuck in there. <sighs> Sweet Jesus, amen. But praise God, okay. Um, now, his bowel, he's having bowel movements, and his bowels and his kidneys are functioning, okay. Um, now, during last night's uh, test that they do uh, to check your reflexes, um, the only part that was showing any signs of reflex was, I guess, the left hand and obviously his mouth, okay, because he was, you know, biting on the ventilator tube. Um, but this boot with the, the, very cold water that, you know, goes through it that he's, he's lying under or whatever. Um, anytime they go to remove that, because I guess it's only supposed to stay there for, you know, so long, and then they remove it, and then they, well, every time they would remove that cooling system, um, his fever would come back, okay? And he would be uh, showing some distressful signs. Um, but then about um, four hours, uh, three and a half hours ago, got another uh, update, okay? Um, his brain 
is what they're calling storming. So a lot of different uh, things going on in his brain right now. I uh, believe he's tr he is trying to wake up. Okay. Um, his hands and feet, okay, are like trembling, uh, like some shaking movement. His eyes, however, are um, like, you know, moving, just rolling, rolling around, okay? Um, still not awake yet, okay? Um, but it sure does seem like he, he wants that tube out of his mouth and he, he's trying, he's fighting, amen? And we know he's not in the fight alone. The Lord Jesus Christ is in control. And my faith, I have to believe this. Um, we're just, you know, I waited for a little while to see if we may get another update. But um, probably will not happen, you know, um, until, you know, tomorrow or something. Or maybe in the morning. I'll have an update, um, but um, please just keep praying, okay? Time to arise and shine, Michaela. Time to wake up, little man. <laughs> wow. Um, tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, uh, the 12th, will mark two weeks, okay? Two weeks, and we hadn't even got to the actual... Uh, extent of all his injuries because we had to wait for the brain swelling to go down and then the setback of the fever and then it's been a week since um, they reduced the coma meds so and now you know it's up it's up to him okay um, I had to kind of try to pull myself together um, because it, it it's just kind of like a roller coaster right now, you know. It's like, come on, you can do this. You can wake up, you know. Um, he's just, we just waiting, still waiting. Um, God bless each and every one of you for all your prayers and your love. And constant checking over here with me, um, inquiring uh, on his behalf and our son and daughter-in-law. And um, you know, I'm I'm quite certain. You know, seeing your child in that condition, you know, is trying not to dwell on the what ifs amen just there's just you know our adversary would sit there and say well what if this and what if that and what if this no we serve the almighty god amen and we're gonna trust in whatever the outcome is okay but his all things are pointing to his vitals are normal while he's having this brainstorming happening. And I'm quite certain now that his, you know, they've, they've got him all restrained. They have to um, since his legs now, because there is a problem with, um, I believe it's the right leg, if I'm not mistaken. Just so much has happened in two weeks, amen? Um, and then, you know, don't know the extent of the injuries to his chest, his brain, you know. Um, but we're going to trust in Jesus. Yes, we are. And um, I love you guys. Um, stand strong in the faith. And hopefully see you soon. Maranatha.